Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the Kamen Rider O's O Metal Set 01. Um, this set contains three deluxe core medals, uh, Kugata, Lion, Cheetah. It was released a while ago, actually. October, maybe? And I'm just now getting it. Um, thanks to Mr. S for getting some more in. Um, these things are an absolute bitch to find. It can go up to about a hundred bucks on eBay. Thankfully, I got mine for the uh, retail price of one thousand yen, which is about ten dollars. Uh, so, um, if you're in the hunt for one of these, good luck, because uh, it's it's war out there. I swear. So anyway, uh, these metal sets retail for one thousand yen. Um, they come with three deluxe diecast core metals. Um, and a Gomberide card. So, um, take a quick look at the packaging. We've got a Tatoba Gomberide card right here. I'm not going to demonstrate it in the Deca Driver. All it does is make that sound. So it's not worth demonstrating in the slightest. Um, Gatakiri Bai here. Uh, Latora Ta here. Uh, the Kuwagata Lion and Cheetah Core Metals in an O's Driver shaped, uh, packaging plastic thingy. On the back here, we've got pictures of the core medals, the Gombride card, using the medals in the Gombride machine, uh, the Gatakiri Ba song, the La Ta song, the O's driver itself, um, all that fun stuff, numbers, etc., etc. So, let's get this open. Uh, it's it, it's very similar to the... the oop. To the... Um, what am I looking for? A Candroid packaging. Uh, just simple plastic on cardboard. Very, very easy to open, deal with, discard, whatever you may do with it. There we go. I'll fix the uh, packaging later. We'll just set that up in the background here. So, a uh, quick look at the Gombride card. Um, Common Rider O's, Tato Ba Combo. Um, 350 attack, 400 defense, 550, uh, final attack. I believe that's what it goes, I don't really remember. I've played the Gombride game enough, but whatever. Um, he's green. Back here we've got attack ride, uh, Kamen Rider O's. Tatoba combo. O's right here, the Tatoba tribe logo. Going on back here, very, very cool. Make an interesting tattoo for all you weird tattoo folks. Set up back here and uh, take a quick look at the medals. So uh, let's get up close. Alright, so here's the Kuwagata core medal. Um, a dark green color. Um, as opposed to Bata's dark green, this one's more of a dark forest green as opposed to just a kind of a flat out dark green. Um, it looks really nice, Kuwagata design in there. On the back we've got the one line um, to demonstrate the whole deluxeness and the fact that he's a head metal. And uh, right deep in there is the four star system that Bandai likes to use to um, show that this is our first release item. Then we have Lion. Um, just a quick comparison, here is the Lion from the capsule set 2 they're pretty much identical um, the capsule ones a tiny bit darker and that's really the only key difference there obviously the backs are different this one once again featuring the single line for the deluxe head metal uh, no stars here it's only in the first um, metal in the set for some reason then lastly we have Cheetah goes like this. Uh, nice cheetah head here facing that direction. The weird body shape going on here. A very, very bright yellow. Uh, three lines in the back to show that it is a leg metal. Uh, chip very, very obvious here. Uh, no hiding it. And uh, for comparison, our only other cheetah metal, the candy toy cheetah metal. And the candy toy che cheetah metal is just fails in comparison. Um, obviously, it's plastic. Um, it's very light. You can barely find the cheetah on this metal when you're actually looking at it in broad daylight. 
Uh, under light conditions, you can see it, but um, under normal sunlight, it's very, very hard to see. Chip is very, very prevalent, and it's just dumb. So, uh, Deluxe is definitely the way to go. So, um, that's all for the set, so let's bring in the additional props. And uh, do some combos. So um, I'll just do the two full combos that you can make with this. Obviously, you can mix and match them. I might do one. Uh, so we'll see. Cool guy. Then we'll bring in our friends, Kamakiri and Bata. Yay! And the scanning charge. The uh, scanning charges all do the combo noise, like the the bugs flying and the roaring for La Torreta and stuff like that. So that's always fun. Um, pop these out. Lion, Cheetah, Tora. So here is that. Very nice. Um, once again, lion metal is just kind of weird. Um, we have yellow, yellow, and then orange. Um, it's obviously a lot more gold in the show, but um, it'll be interesting to see how the orange, supposed orange metals are being marketed. Currently, there's we know it exists. We just don't really know how yet, so uh, we'll see. Uh, so, overall, I'll do one more. We'll do... Lion, uh, we'll do the one that was in the episode 11 of O's, if I can find out where, oh, I put it in there already, Herp, Taka, Kamakiri, Cheetah, just cause. Yay. So, anyway. Set that back up. Let's bring in the actual metals that were in this set. Right there. So, um, is the set worth it? Of course it is. Uh, $10, and you get three die-cast deluxe core metals, plus a pretty nifty Gomberide card. Uh, so if you can get it for the retail price, it's absolutely worth it, no questions asked. Um, however, I wouldn't pay much more than $20 for this. Um, all it is are medals and a card. Um, so if you're, you're, if you're going off paying $60, $70 for this set, I personally feel you're just moronic. But, um, I guess if you're obsessed, some people will do anything. Um... So yeah, that's really about it. So um, check out a written review at Riders, Rangers, and Rambles at RidersRangersAndRambles.com. Um, awesome new site, bringing the latest news in the craziest way possible, as always. So be sure to check that out, and uh, take care and have a great one. Bye.